So at this location, we had a reoccurring squirrel problem where you can actually see, if you can see here, they were walking across this power line and then they would come up here and then eat at the side of the house. Um, and that was a big problem. Tried multiple different trapping techniques and uh, the biggest solution I had was putting up sheet metal. So this is example number two of where I have placed sheet metal. And I will admit that it is somewhat unsightly on the property, but for a repeatable bulletproof solution to a squirrel infestation, you really can't beat it because of the trapping techniques that I've used in the past, and I've used multiple. This is the one that seems to be the most permanent. And this is example number three, where thankfully, so far, uh, there has been no squirrel activity. And as soon as there is squirrel activity, I'll be right up there with my sheet metal protecting that area. What would also happen with this squirrel problem is it was actually a two-fold problem. Um, this is actually the attic side of the outside of the house. Or I should say, I was showing the outside of the house where they were chewing. And now this is the attic side. And what was happening in this situation is the squirrels would chew a hole. And then the, the birds would come in. And there was more than once where I had black crows, much mature black crows and pigeons live in the, living in the attic at the same time. Because, let me just see if I can point this out. This here, this little, you see this little white seam here. That is the little crack on the edge with the, it was just wide enough for the birds to come through. So that was another reason why we were kind of in a desperate attempt to find a remedy to the squirrel infestation problem because it, not only was it squirrels, it was birds too. So in the last installment of uh, the best way to deter squirrels from messing around with your house and your property or, or getting into whatever. Um, some of the things that I did prior to the sheet metal idea was... Somebody was like, oh, go get some hardware cloth. And this actually is not hardware cloth. What this is, is this is, if you've noticed, it has clips. What these are, and I, was, I actually installed these a number of times to try and do squirrel deterrent. These are garter covers for your leaves and stuff. And what ended up happening in this situation was you don't want anything that they're going to be able to... If it's a mesh, what are they going to do? It's a perfect platform for them to stick their claws in and then just chew another hole. So I did this a couple times and then I stopped. And then for the sake of trapping, I, I probably tested out maybe five different trapping techniques. One of the ones was, and again, I searched YouTube, and, and in all honesty, with some of the different trapping techniques, they worked. What ended up happening was, they'll work for five, six, seven, eight times, and then there must be like a level of intelligence with squirrels because of the times that I would do it, they would outsmart the trap <clears throat> because it would work for like half a dozen times and then all of a sudden just out of the blue nothing was working anymore I had tried the have a heart so they started to again with a have a heart first three four five times worked perfectly with the PVC piping idea the whole idea with the PVC pipe this is probably a four inch and what ended up happening with this was you take a four inch, four foot section of PVC, put it down into a bucket of water, and then at about elbow length deep, you'd put a Ritz, a Ritz cracker with peanut butter with it. And the whole idea is as they go for the Ritz cracker, they lose their footing up here, and then they slide down into the bucket of the water and drown. That worked, again, another three, four, five, six times, and then they started outsmarting that. Um... I did the I did the modifying of the rat trap to catch squirrels. 
I actually have some video footage of that, which I may or may not show because I might. Have, uh, it is kind of graphic, and I might uh, start upsetting people. Again, that was something else that worked for a time frame too. What was another one that I tried? I've done the have hearts. I did the PVC PVC pipe with the bucket of water. I did the modified rat trap. Until okay, so now I'm 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 summing up my story now of what ended, what ended up getting me to the drip edge sheet metal idea of one of the times I went to Home Depot one of the employees was over there saying I guess to make a long story short he owns a camp up in Maine and he had a reoccurring squirrel problem and he's, he's like I had a buddy of mine in the metal roofing industry hooked me up with a few random metal roof pieces he's like I nailed it up in the spot where the squirrels had been coming in and it was actually kind of comical because he was like, after I installed them, you could hear them hit the hit the side where they were infiltrating the property, and then they would slide right down. And he was like, it was so comical to be out there to hit them, hit that spot, and then you would you would hear their nails on the metal going all the way down the side of the um, of the the random pieces of metal roofing, and that's kind of when I decided to. What I would do is I'd just take a piece of drip edge and I'd either bang this out to flatten it or I would just nip it off with tin snips. And I tell you, aside from using something like this, which like I said, just gives them a perfect platform to stick their claws in. Um, it's been like two and a half, three years and uh, knock on metal grates. We have ha we have yet to have a problem, and I've al also noticed that the squirrels in the, in the neighborhood aren't as prevalent as they used to be. Which either their populations are down, or they realize that there's no nesting opportunities around here anymore. And I've even had to I've e I had to deal with colonies in the attic before. I remember I had to eradicate some baby squirrels, which um, that was an interesting uh, experiment too. But, um, Squirrel Determent, Squirrel Determent, check it out and, um, capitalize on sheet metal pieces. Like I said, kind of unsightly on the building, but, you know, after two, two and a half, three years, I have not had an issue. I'll see you in the next one. Never mind. Oh, can you hear me that thing with paint on it over there? Yes, bring that over. Yeah, see the nice part is even if I mess up, based on, just hear me out, let it run, based on how good my editing skills are now, I can cut all this crap out and then do, so now I'm going to get all serious and I'm going to do my cut. <laughs>